Hello everybody, it is Andrea and today I'm coming at you with a plan with me for the week of March 11th through the 17th. And this week I'm using a mystery kit. It's a food truck mystery kit. If you're looking for it, I would check out the Buy Sell Trade Group. It's a really cute one. Um, I'll bring it to the shop sometime next year. Exclusive art so you won't find it anywhere else and I am obsessed with it. I use this kit this week because one of my besties, one of my oldest pals, Jessica J. Crew Plans, did come visit me this week and we had, well, this week end, and we had a fantabulous time. I haven't seen Jessica since last year but I missed her ever so much and she got to meet my kiddos. Well, she had met Bennett before, but obviously Bennett's like a completely different human from whenever she last saw him. Um, but yeah, it was overall a fantastic, great time. You'll get to see that through the day by day. I did use hollow foil with this, which I think turned out so, so, so pretty. I did use the checkered underlays from my shop and I did use a foil bundle. It was the, I think it's a sh can, no, shimmer, shimmer, not shimmer. Um, I'll link it for you guys. I'll link it, or you can ask me down below. Mixed with some of the like flower, um, like a la carte items that are super cute. I kind of always forget that they exist, if I'm gonna be honest with you, but they look really cute, especially like pulling just a little bit in with the other elements. I think it turned out fantastic and very Jessica. And I did use the tall box on the sidebar because it reminded me of her so, so, so much. So let's go ahead and get into it. As per always, I do have my custom multi here. This is in font two from Planet Hannah. Um, I just format this so it looks kind of weird, but if you um, order from her, it will look something like this. This is in a different font, of course, but that'll be like how it's formatted. Um, and I do, do custom multis. Um, I just format them because it's easier and I do them for me and her. And yeah, so if you ever want a custom scripts, um, that one is in hollow and in font too. So let's go ahead and get into this week. Honestly, I laid this base down like a, like a, a, a second ago, you know what I'm saying? Like it's been a minute. Um, so let me get my bearings <clears throat> of what I, what my plans are. Oh, and then there's the, we don't need any of this actually. Um, forgot that there's doodles in here, which is nice. It's because a mystery kit. I got schmutz on that. All right. So let's go ahead and get into the day by day. Um, so on, and I also don't have date numbers. I need to bring home some of the ones that aren't like, like the old date numbers. I need to grab some in hollow. I should actually like write that down. I also got these cute little sticky notes from Amazon and I'm like obsessed. Hollow date numbers. Oh, gee. I'll put them on Kristen's list and she'll grab those for me because she is the best. Okay. So on Monday, I did sleep in. It was daylight savings and also we're color blocking. I've been loving it. It's been my vibe. Okay. So I did sleep in this day um, because it was daylight savings and spring break. Um, well, daylight savings was the day before, but it, it had us all a little kafunkled for a minute. And I feel like my still my kids still are a little bit like they don't want to get up in the morning. I kind of hate daylight savings time. As a parent, as an adult, I, I mean, as a non-kid, like, parent, adult, non-kid adult, that's the best way to put it, I guess. Um, I didn't really care about it too much. I was like, eh, whatever. Because, like, you know, it's not a huge deal with kids. It's, like, a whole, it's a whole different, it's a whole different ballpark. Um, then Nick and I did go to the good old H-E-B, which is our usually, usual Monday like escapades um and yeah today's actually tuesday i went to the grocery which just seems a little bit wrong but you know what just wait a cookie crumbles so we're gonna go ahead and do a with nick here kind of hard to see the scripts no way of really fixing it you couldn't see them right kind of sort of maybe i don't know, I don't know. And then afterwards, we did have a thorough politics. So we're going to want to stick that in here. So we're just going to do a little laptop because it is a virtual. Here. Actually, it's like kind of turn it like that. I like that. And then we're going to do a little therapy script here. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. 
I feel like my stomach's gonna start grumbling soon. Probably in between. I have like a bazillion play with me to film. In between, I might eat a muffin. Um, then um, I was so tired and I was like, Nick, cuddle me, cuddle me. Um, and I accidentally took a nap. I accidentally took a nap. I was like, cut me for five minutes, and then I fell asleep, like, on him, like, laying on his chest, which is my new favorite thing to do is to cuddle. So, let's go ahead and do my new favorite cuddle position, I guess you'd say. Cuddling has always been my favorite things in the whole wow world, for the most part. So, I use a brown hair neck because his hair needs colored, like, needs bleached, but, you know. So, I'm going to do it with Nick here, and then, um... We did have McDonald's. Um, I did not make dinner this day, which is like a little oops. It's because I took a nap and then like, if I take a nap and like, I think I like fell asleep on Nick, but then he like got up to do things and I like just continued sleeping. So, you know, um, I was like, I just didn't cook. So we just got some Donald's because also Lila is like a Donald's addict right now. She like, there's nothing in the world more than this girl loves McDonald's. Nothing. Maybe her daddy. That's about all. So we had Donald's. Whoops. And then I read all night while Nick gamed, which is like my new favorite thing to do is just read, 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 read. And this night I was reading Magnolia Parks, which I have since finished, of course. Um, I did really like my Magnolia Parks. I did... Um, I have a nap. I don't know. I'm kind of confused at what I did, but did I take a nap the next day? No. We're going to see how the world goes with all of this. We're just going to do a little me time, I think. Right? Maybe? Sure. Do a little me time there. Um. But yeah. I was reading that, and I started reading Daisy Hates, which is the second book. Well, it's like Magnolia Parks, Daisy Hates, Magnolia, Daisy, Magnolia, and I'm assuming there's me another Daisy. But I just haven't been, like, super into Daisy. Like, I got, I think, 20% of the way, and I'm like, ugh. I like, guess this is, like, the same timeline as Magnolia Parks, so, like, you're just getting everything from, like, the Daisy perspective, which is, like, different because it's really not, like, the same, like, things happening, but, like, I'm not as invested in Daisy as I was Magnolia as of current times. I'm sure like, I think even Magnolia took me a little bit to like kind of like get fully into it because it is like a slice of life story kind of with like romance and like drama, but like, I don't know. I don't know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come back to it. Okay, so on Tuesday, I did go on a breakfast date with Sir Nicholas. Um, let's go ahead and use this, I think. Sir Nicholas. And I do want to put this in here just so I know I have room. Okay. So for the breakfast date, I think I'm going... I think that's where the with Nick was going to be at. So I think I kind of like peel this up if at all possible. I'll use this. My stomach goes on the ground. I don't know why I do this to myself. Just like Andre, just eat before you film. Do you hear my stomach growling? Come on, my sweet baby. There you are. I mean, I, it's hollow. I do have, like, hollow scripts. But I don't know. I'm just annoying. All right. We have this with Nick here. All right. What was... I think the only problem is, is this with Nick was, like... Do I have a with Nick in this vault? I just dropped it. Where did it go? Oh. Um, I do have a Nick. All right. We'll just... We'll just put this back. Just pretend it didn't happen. Just... Hope it sticks. Hope for the best. We're just going to hold my finger on it and see if it dries. Okay. So on Tuesday, like she said, I do have like custom multi and font too, so it works fine. Um, I had breakfast with Nick. So I think for that, um, I'm going to go into my food and then I'm going to go into the good old breakfast and just get like a little, a little, um, hold this down, this little pancakes. And then I'm going to grab one of these Nicks, I think, right? Is that what I want to do? Yeah, I think that's what I want to do. So I'm actually just going to put this here and just, like, hope it just sticks down a little bit. All right. You can't see it anyways. I'm just using this as, like, a little, like, guide of, like, actually, I don't think it's heavy enough. Do I have anything heavier? Me like this. Okay. All right. Nick. There. 
Um, and then in between that, I um, put in with Theo. So let's go and just sticky stick. Will this bigger one fit in here? Uh, it fits, but I kind of want to be able to see the background a smidge more. So we're just going to grab a regular, regular old little fang to stick in the middle. And then I'm going to do a little, little housey poo, I think, for that. Okay, and then a with Theo. Right. And then I just wanted to put in that I was anxious AF. So for that, I'm going to go in to my emotion negative category and grab a little something that looks a little, a little stressed, a little emotional, a little anxious, a little bit of column A, a little bit of column B, and then just anxious AF. Should be good, yeah. <clears throat> Down to the bottom. Um, then on Tuesday, um, I went, um, Nick was, or no, not on, on the rest on Tuesday, okay. So then I made, for dinner, I made beef. It's like a Korean beef rice situation. It's really yummy and my kids eat it and we love it. So it's like definitely on rotation a lot because we love that whenever everybody loves something and I don't have to like be like eat this but the thing is I don't really cook anything that my kids don't like or if I like let's say like this week I'm making chicken Caesar wraps then I like will make my kids chicken quesadillas like it's like an easy like sub a couple of things and same kind of pans and things um otherwise I don't make anything that they don't like so that's why I'm like I cater around you so we're eating this do you know what I'm saying like I'm not I'm not playing games no more no more so um and I was like super in my feelings this night because of just like life and things that were going on um so I'm gonna do another little um emotional type sticky um let's see what we got variety wise I think I'm just gonna do the crying one because I was really not doing too hot this day if I'm being honest with you my stomach is still growling can you can you hear it I need to know let me know in the comments did you hear my stomach growl so for that I have an in my feelings little script here in my feelings and then underneath that I did just spend the night continuing reading Magnolia Parks she's a little bit of a thicky for a book that not a lot happens in I don't really know what I had for this one though. Just a read. I don't seem to have a read here, so I was just put an extra one. We'll just like leave that and see like what I come up with. Okay. Okay. So um we're gonna move up to Wednesday. Um this morning Nick was like, We're going somewhere. And I was like, What do you mean we're going somewhere? Ugh, I should have put that in at time. Um He's like, we're going somewhere. And I'm like, Nick, I don't do this. This isn't like, this isn't something I do. Like, you can't surprise me. It's not, I'll just have anxiety the whole time and then I'm going to be mad about it. So, no. Um, actually, I wish I had, do I have in like home maybe this sticker? Um, let's see what I got. So he's like, no, I'm going to surprise you. Like, it's, it's something you want to do anyways, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, no. No, 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 no. We're not. We're, I don't do it. I don't, it's not me. It's not a me thing to be surprised. So he's like, all right, we're going to living spaces and buying a couch. And I'm like, oh my God. So basically we've been having this like, not argument, I wouldn't say, but um, in the playroom we have this like small couch. It's like, a, it's basically like a love seat. Like one or two adult humans or like three children can sit on it, which is like fine. But we've been spending a lot more time, like all of us in the playroom versus just like one adult and like some little humans. So I have been like, do I not have, oh, couch. Um, I have been like campaigning to get, it's just like annoying because we have a couch in the movie room, a couch downstairs. Uh, we have that little teeny love seat that's upstairs. And I'm like, I've been campaigning to go buy a couch. And Nick knows that I have been like beyond stressed. And Nick's like, no, like we don't need a couch, like blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, oh, I guess we don't need a couch. I'm trying to be sensible here. I'm trying to be a smart gal, you know. 
so I was like okay we like don't need the couch but then he's like we're just gonna go get the couch Andrea like you're having a bad a bad time in life so let's just go ahead and do it and I was like oh my gosh yay and then it's funny because like since then like when we're all upstairs I'm like Nick aren't you so excited to have a couch up here and he's like actually yeah because like it is like just very cramped with because when we got that couch it was like we had we only had two kids and like we were only going to have two kids so we've been perfect I feel like but like everyone wants to sit on the couch and it's just it's not it's not the size that is comfortable for five humans three of them are mini but you know they're gonna get bigger just the way the world works so you know you know you know you know okay so um very excited about that very very excited um then um he was like you want anything else and i was like i would love to go to barnes and noble <laughs> made me happy he knows what like it gets my it gets the weight of my heart so he ended up buying a couch at living spaces if you look up like cloud dupes because my kids are gonna probably wreck this couch um it's like what comes up and it's like it's like a thousand dollars so it's not like a cloud price you know what i'm saying so and I wanted something that had like a low profile because my kids love climbing on couches. And then also something that doesn't like is on the floor so that like toys can't get stuck underneath it. Those are my like, and then also is deep. I like deep couches because I like to sit with my legs crossed. Any which way. So we got that. I went to Barnes and Noble and then afterwards Nick's like, do you want to like go get food? And I was like, yeah, but we don't really want what I, what do I eat whenever I'm sad, y'all? <gasps> the Donald's. I'm like all Donald's out though, I'm not gonna lie to you. Cause like I think like being so stressed. Um the, just the Donald's is I'm getting a little I'm a little over it though. So um we did go eat like at McDonald's in McDonald's, which is my new favorite thing to do, is like go eat fast food at the fast food place. I don't know. I'm just like this is where I'm at at uh, almost 32, is I just love eating at fast food places. <laughs> Uh, yep that's I'm getting old all right then um I did have a lash appointment this day so let's go ahead and plop that on in which I was listening which I have finished which is kind of wild I was listening to um the um the last book in the Akatar series as of right now I have finished it, which I'm beyond, honestly, beyond, beyond excited that I finished it because, girl, that book is so long. And it was like nothing happened for most of it. And it was really driving me crazy. Then the last like 100 pages were like, bam, 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 bam. I don't know if it was the last 100 pages. It was the last like hour and a half or hour and 45. I was like, okay. All right, things are getting juicy. Because I like the action in these, like, fantasy stories. And, like, I would say the last Akatar book, 50% of it is smut. And I just don't care about it. So, um, I did have my lash appointment. So, for that, I'm just going to go into my pamper section and grab one of these cuties winking. It's a scribbler. It's available in all six options. Of course, of course, of course. Um, I'm going to do an appointment here with Nick is like definitely gonna be sticking up for eternity um and then I did make this like it was like fine it's this like cheddar bay biscuit like I feel like can you guys hear that I feel like I like have a love-hate relationship with like you know like meals where you're like putting random things kind of together and like throwing it in the oven like no steps it's just like toss I don't feel like most of them end up good for me I don't know why but it was like all right I feel like it's one of those it was like a cheddar biscuit pot pie thing and actually wasn't even like a dump and go type thing it was I just was like as I was making it I was like this is kind of weird I'm like this doesn't seem like like, I have better ideas. Like, I would make it again, but I would just not follow the recipe I found and just do it how I would want to. Because I know how to make, like, a like a pot pie type filling without, like, a recipe. And their recipe was, like, bland and also kind of bizarre in the, like, way that they wanted you to do it. And I was like, I don't know about this, but I just followed it. And I'm just going to tell you, it was not a lot of fun time. Um... So yeah, I did, we, the kids did like the biscuit part. They didn't like the middle part, which I didn't really like the middle part either. I'm not going to lie, but you know, 
you know, when I'm going to use some. So I did go ahead and finish Magnolia Parks this night. Didn't actually take me as long as I thought, but I was really like, I was really going through this book. It was really a good time. It reminded me of like Gossip Girl without like Gossip Girl. Does that make sense? That's what it basically reminded me of. Gossip Girl in Europe. Okay. Thursday, I did go to H-E-B. For what? I don't know. I was already at H-E-B this week, but, you know, just the way the cookie crumbles is that. So I just sometimes end up there. And I just shop for groceries. I love grocery shopping. I really do. So I did go to the good old Heberoni this day. Um, and then I, we did go on a double date with Hannah and Chris. Um, there's this breakfast place near them that... I like and um we got back from H-E-B and Nick was like oh do you want to go get breakfast and I was like oh like too bad Han Hannah's not up because usually I mean I don't know if she texted me first thing in the morning but I feel like as soon as she wakes up I do get a text message um and she like as soon as we got home she texted me and I was like oh, it's fate so I called her and she's like are you okay I kind of triggered her once because one time I wasn't okay and I was like crying um so yeah oh I did it wrong I have to cut this um but she's like are you all right because we don't like do phone calls with each other it's just not like our jam we're voice memo gals because we're busy um but anyways so I was like no like do you want to like go to breakfast like I'm gonna leave here in like five minutes and she's like yeah and I was like obviously bring Chris and she's like obviously so we got breakfast with them very very last minute like see you in 20 minutes kind of thing um and then um we did go to walmart and to work i think we needed to maybe take packages or print orders or something and then um i don't remember why we went to walmart i think from, like i feel like at walmart we usually get like water like bottled water i don't know my stomach is growling and I ate it. I'm definitely going to eat something in between this, I promise. So my stomach will be growling next time. I feel like the problem is, is like, I'm the kind of person that I, I feel like I'm like always like very lightly hungry. And then all of a sudden it's like, bam, I'm starving. And I don't know when that happened because I feel like I was not always like this. So for the good old Wally World, I'm actually going to grab a Walmart sticker because I feel like the Walmart ones rarely ever match spreads. So I feel like when they do, it's kind of like a calling to use them, you know, like this. It matches. Look at that. It's the Walmart spread. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? All right, so we're going to stick this on in. Okay. Yes. Words. I did pick up Baby J this day, Jessica J. Crew Planner. I love her. I love her so much. So excited. I was so excited for her to meet my kids, especially Theo, because I feel like her and Theo would just be like best friends. And guess what? They was. So um, I'm going to go in to here. I do have these like Jessica stickers. I use these in my non filming planner as well because like. It's Jessica, so we need to do that. So I'm going to grab this Jessica for here. These are Once More With Love Munchkin Jessicas. I'm going to put in Baby J. And then, obviously, me and Jessica are always hungry, so we went to in and out And Nick went with me because it was, like, a really late flight. And I obviously, like, drive. But um, driving in the dark is, like, not my favorite thing in the whole entire world. And, yeah, so I was like, Nick, you want to come with me because I'm a baby? So... Driving in the dark and also, I wonder if the in and out stickers would look cute with this. Driving in the dark and also driving like in the woods and like windy roads, like at night. During the day, I'm, I'm fine. At night, no. Raining, I also don't like driving in the rain. Not because I don't, I can't drive in the rain, but I feel like Texas can't drive in the rain. So it makes me nervous. Um, what am I looking for in and out? Um, I also love it. In and out now, I just can't get enough where's the food fast where are you oh there they are um I used to I think Brian really likes in and out and I used to be like no Shake Shack's better which I do think like objectively Shake Shack is better like as far as like flavors go like it's like a more flavorful burger but I feel like in and outs just like a classic and ever since I like 
tried the protein style I like literally can't get enough because I love lettuce so much like I feel like I have like my strange addiction to lettuce I just love it there's nothing better than like lettuce honestly and like lettuce and red meat oh my god my favorite. so anyways we got in and out we you know talked bs did the do obviously my kids were watching by my in-laws they were already in bed it was late late so then we got home went to bed you know you know so um then on um friday we were just hanging out with jessica i'm just gonna put with baby J because i just love her i don't know what i'm gonna see her next which is kind of sad i have to make I'm making a trip to Kane in July, and then I need to book a trip to, um, can I hear my stomach? Book a trip to, um, what's it called? Brie sometime this year because she had another baby. Um, and then I also need to, um, Book a trip to see Jessica, I think. Maybe in the fall would be fun to go to the good old New York for the weekend. Um, I think those will be like my schedule. I think I'm gonna try and do Brie maybe a little bit near her birthday-ish. I don't know. I haven't decided yet, but I need to go see Brie as well. I have the friends that are oh and Mark. Oh, I should write this down. Mark Brie. Uh, okay okay so on the good old friday uh we did go to lynn's which is a really funny story first of all i just would like to say thank goodness that i am not allergic to shrimp that's where i'm at so basically we went to lynn's i love lynn's i won't knock lynn's i'm just thankful again that i'm not allergic to shrimp so we go to Lynn's, which is like an Asian, they like, they're best known for like dim sum stuff. Um, and they're soup dumpling, soup dumplings specifically. It's like, it's, it's the best. It's the best, 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 best. So I'm looking for a sticker right now in case you're wondering what I'm doing. Um, but I usually just get like, or, like an order or two of soup dumplings and then I we eat like absolutely like dan dan noodles and then these like Szechuan cucumbers or something um but Chris whenever Chris went I think the first time and maybe the second time that he went he got this I feel like I'm like oh there it is I'll do like the Chinese takeout box it's fine um he got I don't remember what it's like a chicken dish I don't remember which one it is they have a bunch of different ones but I was like Hannah can you just order it for me because I don't remember which one it is and we were also gonna share I think an order of soup dumplings or I don't remember exactly what happened but I was like can you just order it for me she's like yeah because usually honestly I, if it's gonna happen I'm gonna do the ordering for her so I'm eating my chicken and Jessica also got the same one this little shrimp sticker that I put on there um eating my chicken and all of a sudden I like bite down I get like the ick so bad with like I don't know just different textures of things so I bit down on this piece of chicken and Jessica again got the same thing as me I bit down on this piece of chicken like eating chicken eating chicken bit down on this piece of chicken and it's a shrimp and if you could think about the textural difference of like chicken to shrimp I thought that it was like raw and I was like oh god I'm gonna throw up I'm gonna throw up I'm gonna throw up I'm gonna throw up and I like spit it out and I was like oh it's shrimp and I was like what like the whole thing like I got like the, it was like oh I was like oh but like thank goodness I was allergic to shellfish because that would have been bad news bears and it was like the only one and it like looked like chicken it looked like it was made the same exact way so I was stressed I was stressed but still love lens it's just so good I'm kidding man so there's that then um afterwards we did go to the good old book people well we just went like book shopping in general we did go to um, book people which is downtown in Austin we went to half price books which there's a bazillion of them in Austin and then we went to Lark and Owl which is like a small bookshop which is super cute so loved that had the blast um 
and then we went to Tanuki. Um, what am I going to use to mark this? Oh, we're going to do four things. Okay, I'm not sure what we're going to do. Um, let's do Tanuki as a small one. So we went to Tanuki as well as Tiny's Cookies, which is my favorite cookies, as well as the Japanese bookstore that is right by Tanuki. And then we did go to Marisol's for dinner, which is a um, Mexican place. Um, I gave Jessica like choices. I was like, all right, for lunch, do you want to do soup dumplings or do you want to do um, hot pot? Um, for dinner, do you want to do Mexican or Italian? And then she just like picked. So whatever she wanted to do. And then we did just hang out with the kidders then. Because they were so excited to hang out with Jessica. And then afterwards, we did have a little game night. So I don't know if this is actually going to fit. I might just trim it a smidge. Or don't do that. We wanted to use a pattern. Yeah. I wanted it to be like slightly bigger, you know. I'm almost so hungry. I guess I could have stopped and like eat something, but it's all good. It's all good, my friends. I feel like it's one of those days where I feel like I have something to do. I have to do listings, but that's like I need to film while it's like, you know, not loud in here. You know what I'm saying? All right, so for the good old Tanooks, I have some, yeah, game and icons. So let's do the little meeple here. For Marisol's, I do have some food icons. I don't know if there's anything that I really want to use on it, though. Not really. Um, let's just do, like, a clinking glasses. So, yeah romance and then with the kids I'm just going to use a little star and then for game night I'm just going to use the little I don't know what I'm going to do now um for gaming I am going to just go into here and crab crab little meeple sticker for game and, and Hannah was with us this day. I don't think I mentioned that, but Hannah's Hannah's were with us. She got a little game and sticker. Okay. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Bring in, I'm drinking coffee because I'm a little weirdo. All right. Saturday, I was like, Jessica, you hungry? It's a dumb question because, yes, we're always hungry. So we went over to the farmer's market uh, in the morning because I really wanted, which I didn't go this week or last week, which was a real tragedy. I wanted some bread. And this there's this like old guy who makes bread. He's like, I think older than my father-in-law, which my father-in-law is like my grandparents' age. So he's definitely old. Um, so we went over there and um, got said bread. Um, and it was so good. We also got empanadas from this empanada place that I like. That is there as well. Um, and then also Jessica got a bunch of like freeze dried candy, which I'm going to get her some and send to her for her birthday. Um, but we took Theo over and it was a fab time. And then Theo was like so polite whenever the like bread guy gave him like a free cookie because of St. Patrick's. Well, it was St. Patrick's Day weekend. I think St. Patrick's Day was this day, but there's no farmer's market that day so um for the farmer's market I think I'm gonna use actually you know what I could use I could use some bread if I have a bread I do I don't get like loaves 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 of bread but I get like he has like banana bread and I had like blueberry zucchini bread and I always get my in-laws some bread as well from him and I got I was like oh like what's your like best seller and he said it was like this like spicy pickles I was like okay what's your second best seller because my father-in-law he a little bit of a baby um so got them pickles it was like a different kind of pickle and then um I'm gonna do this 
Um, I got them some bread too. I don't know what kind of bread I got them this time, but the, the bread is bussin'. So good. I got banana bread this time. Um, then we went over to um, Target and which we just got like because Theo went wanted a cake pop and we were eating our empanadas in the car and he kept going you guys are taking forever and we kept saying oh one more minute one more minute and he's like Ugh. and I'm like Theo just chill bro we're starving then um we went over to H-E-B as per Jessica's request plus I needed to get some things um is Nick home already no. What's that noise? Sounds like a big truck. Oh yeah, it's like a moving vehicle. Um if you can hear that, I'm sorry, but we're just gonna continue on. So we just hung out with the fam. Um yeah, so she wanted to go to H E B and get some things and we needed things for later this day anyways. So then on Saturday when the kids took a nap, me and Jessica went over to uh, Good Folks for dinner, which is like fried chicken. Again, I gave her some options like, hey, do you want this or this? And she said she wanted fried chicken. So we went over there. I'm going to just use another Jessica sticker for that. It was super yummy. Super, super yummy. Um, and just chit chatted, hung out, and then we hung out with the kids and had a game night. So for game night, I'm gonna use a little bit of a bigger box. I don't know, I just remember those little bug. Um, let's do a little thing and then just cut this to size. So we're gonna stick that there, and then I'm gonna go ahead and cut this and see like kind of how that is like so crooked. It's like horrible. Do you see how much room I put left there? What you doing, Andrea? Okay, perfect, all right. So, um, like I said, we went to Good Folks and then we were just hanging out with the kids. I made gyros for dinner, which were super yum, super, super yum. I asked again, I was like, what, what she want to eat, girl? I love cooking. I love cooking for people that like appreciate it, you know what I mean? Like my kids, every once in a while, they appreciate my cooking. But it's really kind of rare. I feel like Theo, Theo goes like really like crazy over soup, which that's my kid. You know what I'm saying? I love soup. He'll be like, he'll like play it up. And Bennett, like it'll be like breakfast or um, last night I made like orange chicken and rice. And he was like, oh, mom, this is so good. This is bussin'. Normally my kids don't really like go all out, but I just love cooking. I just love it. I really love it. I love to cook and I love to feed people. It's like my favorite thing. So I love when people like go for seconds. That makes me happy. You know, it's just the simple things. I just love just feeding people. All right. Then we had a game night. Tony couldn't come this night because one of his kidders were sick. Um, so we did not get to meet Jessica, but uh, Chris and Hannah came over. So we had a five player game night, which was a very, very four player, five player, yeah, game night, which was very fun. Then which also Nick played games with us on Friday because Jessica and Nick be friends too. They've they've spent lots of quality time together whenever Jessica lived here. They're like, honestly, I feel like it kind of makes sense that I married Nick and I'm friends with Jessica because I feel like they are very, very similar in so many ways. They are both like the most, like the Hufflepuff that they are is the same Hufflepuff. And I just love that. So Anyways, lucky to have them. So on Sunday, we, um, well, got up early. Uh, it was supposed to rain. I don't know actually if it did or not, but I checked the weather and I was like, um, so it's supposed to rain and Jessica had like a really early flight. And I was like, Nick, do you mind, you know, taking Jessica to the airport because if it's raining and it's dark, I don't want to do it. And he's like, yeah, I don't care. Nick loves driving. That's one thing that I just can't vibe with is I just really don't like to drive. Like if there's anything like I could do, that's not driving I'll do it um but I like stayed up and I was like so tired um 
because I was like trying to fall back asleep but then Theo woke up really early and then I was like sitting on the couch with him he was like on his iPad because I was like I'm not I'm not this is not playtime it is like it is like six in the morning child so I ended up like kind of falling asleep on the couch like cuddling him because I was so exhausted so I'm actually gonna use blah 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 blah, blah. sleep use this once more with love sticker because this is very me it's funny that there's a cat on it because theo says the funniest thing so he's like um he's always like he wants a cat so bad which is weird because like he, i don't think he's ever met a cat um and he's like just like so adamant that he wants a cat and i'm like okay and I'm like, well, we can't get a cat because daddy's allergic to cats, and which is, like, true story. And I'm, I feel like if he is, made, like, probably, is that, like, hereditary? I don't really know. But anyways, so I was like, you can't get a cat. Daddy's allergic. He will get, I just say sick because there's really no other way of, like, explaining it to a three-year-old. Um, and Theo's like, okay, okay. And he's like, but we could get one when daddy's gone, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay Theo he's so funny I love that kid he's just he's just like serious he's like when daddy's gone and he's mentioned it so many times he's like when daddy's gone we can get a cat right and I'm like sure buddy sure I don't, but he's never met a cat so I don't really know how that works for him then this day we did something that I don't know if we're gonna regret or not I don't know I don't know so this day um so i don't know if you guys know but you may it depends on depends on how often you're here so nick and i had a cruise booked for this year but like our life is kind of a trash show recently it's just kind of it's not it's not in the cards for us to be at, at a cruise at the current time but like life is getting getting better actually my life my luck has quite turned this past couple of days actually like not here but like things like it's been ma more manageable I don't really know like what happened, but we booked another cruise. It's gonna be for the it's gonna be for next year, but I don't think I'm like I'm not canceling this one. So yeah, you get what you get. You don't throw a fit. So there is that. Um, and um, so we did that a Disney one, of course. We love our Disney. And then I did make lasagna for dinner this night. And my in-laws came over to eat as they do. I'm going to use the spaghetti sticker because they're like close enough, you know. Just like a different form. And then I did go to bed early this night because I was so dang tired. I was a sleepy, sleepy girl. Look how many of, the, how, like, of these I use. I just loved the patterns, okay? So we're going to stick this in here. Um, and went to bed early, but I did read um which is basically what I do every night I have been pretty good at like I am not ahead by any means work-wise I'm actually would probably consider myself behind um but I have decided I'm not like behind no I'm just not ahead I think that's the best way of saying it, is I'm not ahead um which is like fine you know actually I'm gonna do it with Nick and put bed early on the other side because this is what I have left uh, um <clears throat> I'm actually gonna do this little wand because me and Jessica have matching tattoos and I thought that'd be cute to have a little wand for her little munchkin. Hold on, let me see. Um, what was I saying? Mm. Oh yeah, I just, I don't work at night anymore. I just like, I just can't do it anymore. So I only read or whatever else I do at night. I have a couple of those left, but you know, I'll save them over here. Um, I just don't do it anymore. I used to work at night. Like if Nick was playing video games, I would work, but I just don't do it. It's not for me. I just need my time to relax. So I don't work at night anymore. But I used to, but now I just read. But I think that like is also attributing to how I am not technically like ahead, but I'm not behind. I'm just like on time, if that makes sense. So you know, I do need to put date numbers in, but I, I said I needed to grab those from work. I'll go ahead and show you what I have left. So this is going to be all de-stash stuff. It's going to go in my de-stash pile. I do need to do a de-stash like giveaway soon because it's getting a little teeny tiny bit out of hand. De-stash, de-stash. 
I do have the date numbers here though, but I just feel like I'm not, I just want the other ones. So as far as the stash goes, I think that's everything that I'm de-stashing. And I'm gonna throw that down in the pile. And then this is everything I'm keeping. I have some bottom washi. This is all like, I just put the flowers and then the lucky charms. I feel like they're similar in like a pack and then keep those organized together. So as far as like what I used, I have this strip left that went with that. I do have some little deco bits I may sprinkle throughout. And then I also have um, these deco bits I'm going to sprinkle and then I'll put the rest into D-Stash. And then I am saving this, which is just some of these full boxes. And I'll just place them in here to have those for later. But that is everything for this spread. I hope y'all liked it. I think it turned out really, really cute. And I love it for the week that Jessica was here. And yeah, so if you guys made it all the way to the end, leave me a little flower emoji. And thank you for watching and I'll talk to you in my next one.